In this episode, our lessons deals with prefixes, infixes, and suffixes. And uh, these are divided into two, the verb forms and the modifying prefixes. We will discuss these two topics separately because these are long uh, topics to discuss with in one just uh, video. I'll go first with the verb forms and the modifying prefixes will be in the next post here on my channel. Now the verb forms complete the action of the root word. For example, the verb forms pag, pagpa, pagga, these describe the state of the action. For example, pagbuhat, that is to do, pagpabuhat, to cause to do, pagkabuhat, being done. The verb forms me and ming. Me is used for past tense of verb and also present tenses. Examples, milakaw, mikaon, mitilaw, mibalitok. For ming, it is also for past tense but in the plural form. Ming lakaw, ming kaon, ming tilaw, ming balitok. So, ming lakaw sila, sila, that's them, marami. <laughs> Daghan, okay? So, many. The verb form mo. Mo is used for present and future tenses and this expresses action to be done without indicating its completion. Mulakaw, mukaon, mutilaw, mubalito. Okay? So, the words is ongoing and there is no time indicated there when is to be uh, uh, finished or completed another use of mo is as a prefix to mean going as in age mo kalima na siya karong tuiga is going to be 50 years old this year mo kalima 50 okay and by the way uh, this is always the the mistake of some Several people are used to write the prefix mo separate from the root word. That's wrong. You don't write separating the prefix and the root word. Even in English, you cannot see that. Okay? So do not separate mo and lakao, for example. That's one word, mo lakao. Other verb forms, nag or naga and mag. Nag may express an ongoing action or past action. So. You can uh, use this for present perfect and uh, past action. Naglakaw, nagkaon, nagtilaw, nagbalito. Naga, on the other hand, indicates an ongoing action. It, it like it's like uh, present perfect. Nagalakaw, nagkaon, nagtilaw, nagbalito. Mag is denoting action in the future. Maglakaw, magkaon, magtilaw, magbalito. Other uses of mag, okay? Um, it can also be used as present uh, tense of verb, like uh, himaya, you put mag, that's mag himaya. Toon, you put mag, mag toon. Sulat, you put mag, mag sulat. Pasilong, put, you put mag, mag pasilong, okay? Uh, mag also uh, is an indicative of becoming somebody by desire or will. Mag abogado. To be a doc, to be a lawyer, mag doctor, to be a doctor, okay. Uh, that's it. Um, correction lang, uh, mag doctor. Uh, there should not be hyphen between mag and doctor, because uh, D is a consonant. The rule is, pag mag is followed by vowels, then you put a hyphen. That's the rule, okay. Next is mag. Is also mean uh, about or around. Magkalimaan na siya karantiga. He's going to be 50 years old this year. Okay? Magkalimaan. Other uses of mag uh, as a noun doer. The noun buhat or thing. Magbubuhat. So he's a creator of a thing. <laughs> magbubuhat. But usually we use magbubuhat. Uh, as when we refer it to the uh, 
to the to the Lord, to the God, magbubuhat, okay? Balaod. Magbabalaod. So, we are referring here the uh, legislators, the lawmakers. That's why balaod is law. When you say, you put ba- mag, magbabalaod. So, they are the lawmakers. Mag also can be used as indicative or repeated action like anhi come here anhi maganhian he has been coming here maganhian adto going there magadtoan he has been going there okay so uh, go na next Um, for nanag and mamag, these are other forms of nag and mag. It is used only when conveying plurality of subjects. So, pang plural to. Nanag-iya sila o basakan. Managiya sila o basakan. Kung dili malukat ang trenda. So, managiya. They're going to own a farm. Next. Nang and mang, also other forms of nag and mag. This is used when the action or subjects often repeated of what the root word implies. Nanguha, so that's from nang plus kuha. Manguha, that's mang plus kuha. Naka and maka. Naka conveys completed action either in the past or recently after speaking. Maka, on the other hand, it conveys completed action for the future. Nakakuha Makakuha Other verb forms Na and ma These words These prefixes mean To arrive at a situation Na plus kuha is nakuha Ma plus kuha plus an Is makuhaan Makuhaan Now, na nga and ma nga, these are also variations of ma and na, and this indicate uh, plurality. Na nga kuha, that's from na plus kuha. Na nga hagbong, na nga plus hagbong, mga tagak, mga plus tagak. Okay? Na nga kuha, or na nga hagbong ang mga prutas. So, daghan, marami, many, na nga. Mga tagak, mga tagak ang bituon. Do you believe in that? Stars will fall from the skies? <laughs> mga tagak ang mga bituon. <laughs> okay, so other verb forms, B, I, on, and an. Okay, these are important uh, prefixes because uh, we use these uh, prefixes and suffixes because we use this several times in our sentences. G and I denote passive action. Gitagak, no action in the past. Itagak, that's action in the future. Gitagak ang mga kahon. Gitagak ang mga kahon. So it was push, okay? <laughs> itagak. So itagak is. Uh, I will drop this one. Uh, I will drop the boxes. Uh, itagak. On and a passive form of future action. Imnon tobagon sulaton. Imna tobaga sulata. So these are very important because some people don't know how to use on. Uh, it always uh, interchanges with an. An on the other hand is a passive form of past actions. Remember, on is future, an is past actions, and an may be combined with gi, gipa, ipa, nama. Napa, mapa, paka, and paga. Giimnan. So the action was already done. He drank a portion of the beer, for example. Natubagan. So he already answered the questioners. Natubagan. Gisulatan. He wrote on uh, that piece of paper. Gisulatan. Okay. So that's it for the verb forms. And... Uh, In the next post, I will have to discuss the modifying prefixes. Don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel and please uh, check the or click the 
bell button so that you will be alerted once I will uh, upload another video for our lessons on Cebuano language. Daghang salamat!